Hi, this video is about God and religion and government and politics. Won't, it sounds bad, but it won't be. Okay, I'm looking at a picture of the medieval conception of the universe. It's important because everything's arranged into spheres. You've got the spheres where the planets sit and they rotate around the Earth. It makes it geocentric. But inside all the spheres of the planets, those are things that humans can know. That's part of the ordered universe. But outside that sphere, that is where God is. Out in the corners, those are the things that are absolutely unknowable. That's the medieval understanding of the universe. But you have to understand, what is the greatest sphere? The most important sphere is the sphere of God. That's, that's medieval. So you have the medieval view where God is the most important part of the universe. Or you can have the modern view where religion is pretty much belongs in its sphere. You don't want to mix in religious religion with all these other things. And to show this view, I'm going to play a clip. Trust and discern and always be critical to try to try to figure out, you know, what are the proper obedient responses in every sphere of society. And you don't want to mix your spheres. You don't want to have, for example, government interfering with the church sphere or, um, you know, uh, with the home sphere. And then you've got economics and you've got all of these different areas. And in each subject, we were trying to figure out, you know, with, with a lot of other reform scholarship at our fingertips, you know, what is the proper obedient response to, to, um, to creational... There's something called the human stain. It's, the idea is that anything good that humans touch, anything humans try to wield, it just sort of gets corrupted. It just sort of gets twisted by our desires. It kind of gets messed up. I'm watching this movie called Human Stain. Come on out of there, you murdering bitch! Did she tell you? Did she? It's kind of illustrative of just how awful things can get when you try to mix things together. Things get mixed and melted, and everything gets turned into a complete mess. That's you really want to avoid that. You want some kind of purity. You want to shrink things down to a manageable level is that we are in fact part of a far larger story. One that involves the seven stars. One that involves this word that Jesus says, it will not disappear. We're not here, or the stars rather, the heavens, they're not there to declare the glory of the United States, or your political party, or your corporation, or the pillows you would like to sell. Jesus moves from being savior of the Jews, savior of Judea, savior of Israel, to savior of the world. That's the point of the story. That's why you have Magi, that's why you have Herod, that's why you leave Egypt. That's the point of the story. Now the question is, as we watch things happen, on the TV screens, what story will we see? Will you make this move with him? Do you want to just have Jesus be something that props up your nation or your political party or your little faction? Or will he, in fact, be your king? Let's pray. Maybe I'm a little emotional. Maybe it feels like, um, you know, I'm cut out of the political process. Maybe it feels like I don't have any authority, but I do have Matthew 28. Jesus spoke, came and spoke to them saying, all authority has been given to me in the heaven and on earth. Go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I commanded you. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. We 
can look at the book of Revelation. We can see, uh, well, what does what does Jesus have in mind for the nations on earth? Jesus says, Nevertheless, hold that which you have firmly until I come. He who overcomes and he who keeps my works to the end, to him I will give authority over the nations. You will rule them with a rod of iron, shattering them like clay pots, as I have also received my Father, and I will give him the morning star. And hey, some of you might uh, even know this one. This one's uh, Luke 10, Luke 10, 25. Behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tested him, saying, Teacher, meaning Jesus, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? Uh, the scribe answered, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. Jesus said to him, You have answered correctly. Do this, and you will live. What is methadone? Methadone is the kind of heroin you can take that gets rid of the itch and you can keep your day job and the government will give it to you so you don't have to break into people's houses to steal stuff, to sell it, to buy drugs and get into that whole cycle. Nationalism is the methadone of true religion. So when you see people using God to prop up their politics on the right or the left, I want you to think of methadone. Because government replaces God. And the British Empire is God's kingdom. French, they're God's kingdom. All of these kingdoms are God's kingdom. Or maybe God's kingdom is bigger than any one of these empires. Hey, we're at the end of the video. You know, I, 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 I have to agree with uh, Paul, Pastor Paul Vanderclay. He's... He's right. Uh, nationalism is the methadone of religion, but you know, you know, the human stain touches everything. You take religion out of everything; it's it's still going to have that human stain. You know, and that's why you have to say, you have to say, just give me that religious methadone, because. You know, you've you've deconstructed religion away from the family. You deconstructed it away from away from the state, away from society. I can't. How do I even talk about God? If in the school, how do I talk about God in the work? All these things have been uh, deconstructed away from religion. So, give me that religious myth known. It's it's better than nothing, man. It's gonna help. Thanks for watching.